Hey there, Corbett. Scott here. <clears throat> I shared that story that I wrote with you uh, the other day on the telephone. I've uh, modified it a little bit, made it uh, hopefully more understandable. Thought I would. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to run this video camera and do different things. So uh, we're going to try uh, doing up your story on a video and with this uh, camera. Do they call these things videos? I don't know. And send it to you. I reread some of, uh, of you, the poems that you shared with me today. Good job there, Corbett. Redone this one, and uh, we're th this is dedicated now to Cor Corbett, Charity, Hannah, Cupid, and the Shrew. Not quite sure what a <laughs> that poem about the Shrew, what you encountered out encountered out there. Maybe you shared that with me. Anyways. This is called the uh, Two Toads and Their Butterflies. I shared this with Teresa. She said to me, uh, where did that come from? And I said, out of my mind. And when I shared it with you, uh, Corbett, you uh, thanked me for enlightening you. And here it is for your listening, enjoyment, and amusement. The Two Toads and Their Butterflies. Once upon a time... There were two toads that lived in different ponds on the edge of the cypress hills. They amused themselves with words, because that is what toads do. And toad one, that's me, heard of some of the musings of toad two, that's you, because the sound of your words and their cadence came drifting over the hills. They caused words to resonate through his being, and they went something like, like this. Toad, too, that's you, sat upon his lily pad. Along came a butterfly, and he caught her. And as Toad, too, that's you, sat upon his lily pad, and suns and moons passed overhead, along came another little butterfly, and she was very beautiful and fluttery. Her name was Hannah. And Toad, too, that's you, laughed and laughed because you have a good laugh. It's good to hear. And that butterfly loved the old toad, because love and charity are on page 89 of the first toad's thesaurus. Toad one, that's me, and his butterfly had three little butterflies that were growing and were producing the next generation of butterflies. One was fluttering around and was, one was expanding the walls of its cocoon, stretching and kicking as it was getting ready to break forth. It was six months. And Toad too, that's you, sat upon his lily pad and said, Ribbit, Ribbit, Corbett. And Toad one, that's me, laughed and laughed. Because toads amuse themselves with words, and some might say their humor is questionable. And he hopes that, uh, Toad 1 hopes that Toad 2 and his butterfly and Hannah find this amusing, that it gives them a chuckle. This came out of my mind. Am I? So, we'll talk to you. Let us know what you think. Bye for now.